there are several methods you can use to add block tools to a tool palette. For example, you can take a block that already exists in the current drawing and make it into a block tool. The exercise drawing includes a number of blocks. When you move the cursor over a block, the tooltip indicates that it is a block. To add one of the blocks to a tool palette, click the block to highlight it. Then click anywhere on the block except for the grip. Do not click the grip. And then press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the block from the drawing onto the tool palette. When you release the mouse, the block is added to the tool palette. Next, right click the block and choose Properties to open the Tool Properties dialog. To change the name of the block tool, click in the Name field and change the name to Special CAD Learning Couch. Click in the Description field and give the tool a more meaningful description couch used in this example. The description will appear in the palette tooltip. Then click OK to close the dialog and update the block tool properties. Understand that the changes you made did not redefine the block. Right click and choose properties to reopen the tool properties dialog. The name of the tool is defined in the name field, but the actual block name appears under Insert in the name field, and the source file field shows the path to the original block source file. In this example, the block was defined in the current drawing, but if the block is ever deleted or renamed, or if you use this tool while working in a different drawing and the program cannot find the original source file, the tool will fail and the block will not be inserted. To ensure that this does not happen, before creating a block tool, make sure that the path to the source file is unlikely to change. If the program cannot find the block, come back to the Tool Properties dialog, Click in the Source File field, and then click the adjacent button that appears. This opens the Select Linked Drawing dialog. You can then locate the file and fix this link. Then click OK to save the changes and close the Tool Properties dialog.